Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting something a little bit different. Uh, most of the stuff on my channel thus far has been uh, blind runs, but I really wanted to play Psychonauts again. And it's something that uh, I know the sequel is currently in production. I actually donated to the crowdfunding to get it made. Uh, this is one of those games that I had seen moving around since it came out, but I really didn't play it until very recently, I want to say probably about four or five years ago, and I immediately fell in love with it. It was amazing in so many ways, and I'll explain as much as I can as we go through it. Um, I'm not going to talk about spoilers in this game in the slightest. I am going to pretend as though I don't know what's about to happen because I want you guys to have a better experience watching me play rather than me telling you how the game ends right at the beginning. That's not fun for everybody. Alright, so the start screen is actually a little weird. Rather than having an actual menu, you walk to a part of the brain to start a new game. It's a little weird, but let's get going. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. Creepy. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho knot, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dogen, don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. Foreshadowing. We've got nothing to worry about, except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Oh God! Hey, Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfect Ruh -ruh, safe what's this? paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Whoa! Whoa. Light Ow. Monster! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, what is it? What is it? It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Hello there. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ha uh -huh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody oh. calls me <laughs> Raz. Please oh, don't, don't you look cool. Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. 
<laughs> Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. Why? What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But to soar across the astral plane, to wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you. But we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Waddle, 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 waddle. You're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. Yeah, or else I was gonna crash. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the psychonaut. And. And and then you'll make their heads explode? No. <laughs> do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. <laughs> but now I wear this special hat. I love Dogen. He's got a tinfoil hat. No, no. <laughs> but he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million. What are you nine, doing, man? But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. So what does Nine do then? Withstand. Mm. Alright. So we got that one. That's my previous save file. That's the first time I went 100% of this game. So let's move on to bunk number two. Stop crying there, dude. It's fine. You're not gonna die. Okay, let's just say rail. Oh. Where? There it is. I can't spell today. Gotta love PS2 save slots. They take forever. All right, let's get moving. So I'm gonna try to do a 100% run of this. All right, settle Whoa. down in here. Big day tomorrow. We're talking. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird and you're the worms, got it? Now, lights out! Well, okay then. But yeah, if I remember correctly, there's a little bit of work to 100% this, mostly with one of the collectibles. Whoa! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Oh, geez, no. Who are you? Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Um, okay. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh, 
Okay. Now look up for me if you will. Uh oh. Sounds to me mm. like we're uh, Some of the getting old our control scheme apart. settings You'll set. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff Very you didn't cool. even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Hmm. All right, to change your camera preferences, press start and open your journal. And select options from the first page. All right. Oh, our little birdie's everywhere. Okay, well, it looks like we got our first hey, class Rex, to take hurry care up. of. You don't want to be late for basic braining. Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Basic braining? All right, I gotta get used to these controls again. Was late for basic braining. Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue, but the kid had just drank a six pack of soda, and so when the coach shook him up, he exploded. He <laughs> exploded. <laughs> oh god, that guy. Basically, that character, his whole gimmick. Is he. So, whoa. you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna. Hey! You're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come on. Oh, wow. Yep, it's never gonna change. <laughs> but no, with that character, he's very uh, monotone, and his stories take forever. Forever. Come on, how do I open this again? There we go. Yay, we got a side card. So we're gonna run around and get a few collectibles real quick before we go into the basic braining. Um, we can't go down there yet by the looks of it. Okay. We got a few of these fluttering cards lying around. Let's meet some of the characters. Oh! That has got to be the worst band. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. Huh? I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. That's yeah, terrifying. because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? So these two I are, uh, have a little Did rock band. Did you possibly bands. mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. And we get to see them develop deeply into the whole your thing. heart, Phoebe. And I... What's you know up? that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. <laughs> that kind of thing takes practice? <laughs> um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Whoa. I don't see how, you, again, you need to practice looking through. That's just creepy. I am definitely going to need audio. Oh god, this kid is creepy. Okay, so here's a little funny bit of it. He's sitting there staring through the hole. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, your head's stuck. Wait it, Bobby. I know that's you. No, it wasn't Bobby. <laughs> I don't know how your head got stuck in there, but whatever, kid. All right, let's see where else we're gonna go. Oh, there's another one. And slide down the trees. Okay, we got another one of these bad boys here. I think we can get enough to get a. Calling any right sentient now. being in the galaxy, Porisma Australis. What? Oh yeah, that's a little alien kid. Come in, Polarisma Australis. This is kid who runs around with a space helmet and <laughs> he's convinced he's trying to get a hold of aliens. There we go. Oh boy. So I don't know. We should probably s stop before we get to the basic training just so this doesn't go on too long. So this game basically plays like a platformer, 
a 3D platformer, as you can probably tell by now. Uh, what else do we got? We gotta get across there. Yeah, we'll, we'll jump onto that in a second. But it's a 3D platformer collectathon, which I am absolutely in love with those, that entire genre. No, 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 make it through, make it through! Jerk. Alright, so we have something that's stuck inside of a nice like cube. completely frozen in a big block of ice. Yep. Which we cannot do anything about that just yet. We'll be coming back later to take get whatever's inside there. Woo, make it through. Alright. Your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of Citanium, a rare psychoreactive mineral which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. What's up here? Ooh, hello there. And there is more libel ways to get this later on. Good news, you have enough side cards to build a new side challenge marker. Just buy the side core at the camp store and use Asia Cruller's special lab. Yep. Mount this ladder and move forward. I don't want to mount the ladder. Okay, so now this is open, we can go in and out of it. I think there's just a couple more up top, and we should be good. And then we're gonna go hang out with Dogen for a second. Boop. Shoot. Aya! Success. Uh, there we are. Jump! And leap! Success. Do 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 do. And we got a full challenge marker. You just found a side challenge marker. Every time you find one of these, your side cadet rank goes up. Rank up enough and you'll earn new side powers. Alright, so basically how these work is every um, level you come across is going to have certain collectibles, which will help rank you up, but also these challenge markers rank you up, and there's a lot of different things that contribute to it and allow you to do upgrades and other things. And in order to 100% the game, you need to have uh, rank 100. I'm telling you for the last time, no! What? Why are you talking to the squirrels? I would never do that. I could never... kill everyone. What? Oh! Hi, Raz. Why? Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. Huh? I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> so the squirrels shut are trying up. to tell you to kill everybody. Whoa. Did you just blow up the squirrels? He's like, the voice has stopped. That's not at all disturbing. <laughs> oh, God. They did... Grab a few more arrowheads and then I think we're gonna end this off Love here the and then head, head up to the basic braiding lesson in the next episode. So I'll see you guys all then. Bye bye.